Hey, welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Pisces. Hi, Pisces placements. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back, baby. Okay, Pisces, listen. Y'all the last reading of the day. And yes, it is very late. It's almost 11. And I have been spending so much time with spirit. Did this readings have been getting... Normally, I would already have... Like, y'all will... Uh, y'all tend to be late. Um, I asked... I'm going to ask my spirit team if they want me to like... I don't think they're going to let me do it, but I can see if I can push y'all. I like getting y'all done on Tuesday and then you have it early Wednesday morning, but I could do you and Aquarius on Wednesday. Cause like when I go back to work, I'm off on Sundays and Mondays, but they don't really like me doing more than four readings in a day. I have done more than four. I've done six, you know, and, um, that was, they, they, they felt like that was too much. But that way, y'all don't have to wait all day and get y'all's reading so late. But I tend to like doing a collective. I don't know. I have to talk to them about it. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, y'all, I know last week I was reading in the book. We're not doing it this week. We're going to go straight into the uh, Art of Manifestation Oracle cards. I talked to my spirit team. We're not doing that anymore. We're going to go with this This one. The messages are right on the front of the card. They're really short. Spiritual uh message won't be more than three to five minutes okay and then we jump right into love so bear with let's get your first three cards out here pisces let's see what spirit has for you spirit guys ancestors great divine thank you for allowing me to read pisces today can i get clear honest messages on behalf of pisces placement sun moon and venus rising clear and honest messages for pisces sun moon and venus rising what is it that they need to know at this time spirit And yes, even though I'm getting y'all's reading out late, I will still be here for tomorrow's uh, collective at early in the morning. And that, that will be uploaded before 8. Yeah, my, my team, because when I get off tomorrow, I got some stuff around my house I need to clean and do. So, <clears throat> I will get up and uh, try to get that done. All right, Spirit, what you got for Pisces? Thank you, Ashe, if I didn't say it. For clear, honest messages for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. What does Pisces most need to know at this time, Spirit? All right. Let's see what you got, Pisces. You got uncertainty, number 60, synchronicity, 51, and 67, you are now safe. You you are safe now, number 67. So let's look at 60. Uncertainty. It says, calm the noise within your mind, get still, and meditate. If you're uncertain, give yourself at least four hours, okay? And meditate again, okay? If you're still unclear, wait for four days if necessary. And then if that doesn't work, wait about four weeks, the answer will come. So let's say you they're telling you if you got a problem and you're uncertain and you go get still and you try to ground your energy and you try to meditate. Now, people say when they meditate, their mind get to wondering and all kinds of meditation don't have to be hard, y'all. This is probably why spirit tells you to go to a park, because sometimes when you go to a park and you just kind of zone out, you're just watching the animals or you're just watching the kids or you're just listening to the sound of the bugs. You know, some of the bugs make noises and the birds are making noise or you might be somewhere where there's water and then you all of a sudden you're just looking around. It's like your body calms down. You got your feet on the ground. Your body calms down. Some of y'all might sit on the grass or lay out in the grass and you just calm. You're not really thinking about nothing. You don't have to focus. To meditate does not mean that you got to. What am I thinking? I'm trying to think of nothing, but I have all these thoughts. No, it's not even like that. It's not even like that. It's real simple. You just sit and just observe. Don't talk. Just observe. And sometimes when you start just observing, you kind of get lost in that. And that's when spirit talks. Okay. So like before you do that, you can say a, a prayer to the great divine and to your spirit team and you say okay y'all i want to sit down and meditate I, and this is my problem and this is what i need an answer for then you get quiet you put your feet down and then you just start observing just listen to the sounds watch the clouds go by 
Just get your energy calm. And as soon as your body calms, everything in you becomes, that's when spirit speaks. Okay. And, but I'm telling you, this doesn't say pray here first, but I'm telling you, if you do this, you might not need to come back and wait four hours and then be like, oh, I still didn't get no answers. But if that's the case, they tell you work for four hours. And if that don't work, then wait four uh, days. And if that don't work, then come back in four weeks. I don't think it requires all of that. But this is what the author of this card is saying. I think if you just pray first and say, this is what I'm needing an answer for. I don't know how to hear from you, but I'm going to just go chill for a little bit. And just go chill and just let your mind rest. It does not require some big sound thing. Like people used to have me think I had to be listening to them meditating. You ain't got to do none of that. You ain't got to do none of that. Just ground your energy and just let your mind wander. Watch the trees. And before you know it, you know, you just, just observe it. And, you know, and that's when spirit talks. It's really simple. Synchronicity. 51. Um, it says, are seemingly random coincidences showing up in your life? This card is asking you to listen to the signs and take them seriously. You are turn tuning into the universal energy of greater collective consciousness. And these synchronicities are arriving in your world to guide you. So you need to listen. When are you getting synchronicities? A lot of people get number synchronicities. Like I just seen seven, seven, seven. Like <laughs> I didn't see a lot of either nine 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 seven 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 or um one one one. So I have an ending coming, or I seen five 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 change. The change that's coming is there's about to be an ending. There's about to be a new beginning, and it's about to be a lucky one. Cause I constantly see like seven seven seven. I seen seven 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 at least five times today, and I kid you not, it would be like the most random thing. A car just pulled, and I'm like looking at this car like a car just pulled out in front of me, right? And I was like, why is he pulling out in front of me so crazy? And then and then I just started laughing because as soon as he pulled out in front of me, it was like one of my spirit guys was showing me 777. And I was driving along like I'm a mail carrier. So like I might be driving along, getting ready to put mail in a mailbox and the garage of somebody's door will go up and the car has a plate, 777. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It'd be the most random things. Sometimes it'll happen or I'll look down at my phone and it just happens to be 11, 11 little things like that or five, 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 you know, that kind of thing. So, but when you get those types of synchronicity, especially it doesn't have to be the same number of synchronicity, but if you keep seeing the same number over and over and over again, spirit is wanting you to pay attention to that because that is you tuning into the universal energy of the greater collective consciousness. And they're trying to guide you towards something. So you need to listen. What's going on in your life? What are they getting ready? To, what's getting ready to change? What are they getting ready to bring you towards? Pay attention to those, okay? It could be, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be animals. It could be grasshoppers. If you are about to do something lucky and involve money, you will get grasshoppers randomly in your house. It has happened to me many a times. They're in the most random places. I, in my upstairs bathroom. And I'm like, ain't no way in hell. Where'd you come from? And I used to step on them because I didn't know. It took me, I, I had to look, I looked it up and I was like, oh my God, those are from my ancestors. I didn't even know at first. But like grasshoppers, if you attract bees and bees don't normally bother you, that, you know, when you, when bees come around, you are on a very good frequency. I know that sounds crazy. If you ain't got no perfume on and bees are, are around you, you, that's really bees. Did you know that they were at the frequency of love? But they also put you at the frequency of life is about to get sweeter, baby. I ain't lying. So it's little stuff like that. Or if you start seeing red cardinals or blue jays or crows or ravens, or if some people see eagles, when you start seeing the same thing over and over and over again, look it up, especially if it's an animal, find out the spiritual meaning because those are your guys telling you, hello, hello, hello. We're trying to get a message to you. Okay. Now the last card is you are safe now. Number 67. Listen, Pisces. I don't know what the hell y'all had going on. I can't remember last week's reading, but some of y'all have been through a lot, okay? And you handled it amazingly, okay? You went through it all, and it had a little bit of a consequence, and it left you on high alert. And Spirit is saying, that has to change. It's time to take a deep breath. You're not going through the chaos, and uh, ain't nobody driving you crazy. You're not going through chaos and conflict. Now is a time where you can just breathe 
breathe. You're safe. Ain't nobody hurting you. If you was in third party situations, that's probably long gone. You might be focusing on other things. Now you can relax. It's time to relax. You're safe. It's okay to not be on high alert thinking somebody about to do something. You can take a chill now. That's it. Let's get into love. Okay, Pisces. We're going into the Wisdom Seekers Tarot deck. Uh, a page is called a princess in this deck. And a knight is called a prince. But I will switch it when, during the reading. Okay? Y'all, I'll be trying to make sure that it's like really shuffled good from the last reading because I don't like when stuff come out in the same order. All right, Spirit, what you got for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising? What's going on between them and their person? Let's start with five cards, Spirit. Y'all started off with the five of cups upright, three of cups upright. Eight of Wands upright. Princess of Cups in reverse, which will be the Page of Cups in reverse. Will of Fortune in reverse. Y'all have regret. Over a situation that used to make you really happy. It was you and somebody. Some sort of friend. It was either you and a partner. Or you and some friendship. Used to make you really, really, really happy. And now you are in deep regret over it. Somehow, I guess, you're in regret. Because with the eight of wands here. Somebody communicated to you. That something that you thought was happy. Was really one-sided. With the uh, page of cups. Somebody really didn't, was not, uh, it was one-sided and this person was emotionally unavailable. And one of the things about this particular page, normally they have a fish in a cup, right? I got to cover them up. The princesses are, are all topless in this deck. I don't know why. But if you notice here on this deck, her, she's pouring out her cup into the ocean. So she's not even holding any emotion whatsoever in her cup. So... What y'all thought was a one-sided situation was actually much worse. This person had no emotion whatsoever. And you thought they did. And now you have regret because you didn't know that. You thought that y'all was the three of cups upright. We're happy. They like me. I like them. We're friends. We're good. And then some of y'all found out somebody communicated to you. No, we're not friends like that. In fact, I don't even really like you. I'm emotionally unavailable. This is a one side, like you're the one who likes me. I don't like you. And I'm telling you this and I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm not trying to trigger a Pisces. So please take it as it resonates. But I'm telling you, they had no emotion because they were pouring out the cup. You know what I'm saying? So this person was more than just emotionally unavailable where this was a one-sided connection for you, Pisces. They had zilch emotion, even in friendship with you with the three of cups. And this really hurt you because the wheel of fortune is in reverse. So it was like, damn, like, this is not a good situation. But we're going to clarify. And um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This sounds so cold. I'm sorry. Oh, help me, spirit. Okay. All right. Let's clarify the five of cups, spirit. Clarify the five of cups. Okay. Five of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Cups reverse, Center of Wands reverse, Prince of Swords reverse, which will be the uh, Knight of Swords reverse. 
y'all were in despair and once y'all got news about this friendship that what you thought was happy and everybody was in this and we we turn up and we happy together once you found out the truth it felt like it was an end to a family dynamic this person might have been like family to you and that quickly ended and that made you feel defeated this is why you're in the five of cups energy where you're feeling a lot of despair and regret because it was like damn I looked at you like family and you don't look at me like I ain't shit. Like I ain't nothing to you. Like you ain't even got a little bit of my emotion. It was like somebody had completely deceived you. Because it's like for you to be in the three of cups energy, you really thinking that this is your friend. That, that, like, like if, this, if okay, so if this was a relationship, you at least thought this person was your friend. But with the way that they're communicating with this princess of cups, not only was it one sided, you were the one with all the feelings. They don't have an ounce of emotion because, she, like I said, she was pouring her cup. If there was any emotion, it's empty. So her cup is really, she's coming to you with an empty cup. This person don't like you at all. And, and, and once you found out that this was a person that you looked at like family, it wasn't like that. It made some of y'all feel so defeated. I mean, defeated. Then this was like, like, damn, like this person really communicated this harsh truth to you and it hurt. It hurt Pisces. Okay, so let's look at the Three of Cups. Spirit, can you clarify the Three of Cups, please? The Three of Cups upright. Clarify the Three of Cups upright, please. Three of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles upright, the Sun reverse, the Nine of Wands reverse. Some of y'all thought that this was your friend, right? Because it was your three cups upright. So you let your guard down with this person, with the nine of wands. You let your guard down because you really thought that this person was like family. So you let, you wasn't as guarded around them. So some of y'all were more vulnerable around this person because you thought that they looked at you because you're all upright. So this is happy. They laughing with you. They joking with you. They playing with you. They celebrate. They break bread with you. Some of y'all go turn up together. You see what I'm saying? If this was a love relationship, you doing all that. We going out to eat. We doing everything together. So you really thinking it, it, it bare minimum. This is a, a card about friendship when you're in the three of cups. So at bare minimum, this is your friend. And so you are letting your guard down and you're vulnerable with this person because you really think that they're your friend. So you're thinking because they're your friend, hey, this is great. And if you're in a relationship, you like, we can have it all together. We can have a Ten of Pentacles together. Now, why you thought y'all was going to have a Ten of Pentacles, it ain't saying here. But some of y'all thought that this was going to be a very promising thing. Y'all could go into legacy wealth. Y'all could, if you're talking about a romantic relationship, we can go into legacy wealth. This is a really good thing. We're so happy. We're going to have money. We're going to do it all. We're just going to, this life is going to be so good with me and this person. So you let your guard down just to end up in the sun reverse. And it was like, damn, what you thought was a happy friendship where you were vulnerable and you thought that y'all had all this potential for growth ended up being something that really, really was not what you thought it was. It ended up being like, damn. Some reverse. It left some of y'all feeling really, really unhappy, Pisces. Sorry, my throat getting dry. This is hard, Pisces. Y'all was reading this heavy. I almost feel like crying, y'all. This sounds sad. Clarify the eight of wands, spirit. Clarify this eight of wands, please. So... So you let your guard down with this person because you thought that y'all was going to be family. Uh, like a family that was going to build. You looked at this person like this person. If you was dating this person, you really looked at them like this is like family. We friends first. Because some people think that they have friendship first. That's their foundation. And then it was like, hell no. Nah. The other person, you did not know that it was one-sided. Like I said, so with the eight of wands here, you thought that you and this person were committed. Right? You thought y'all had some sort of commitment or that it was going to lead to commitment. 
and y'all was going to work together to build some sort of stability here with the four of wands. That's what you thought was being communicated. Y'all have might have been talking. You know what I'm saying? When you and this person sat down, y'all might have been talking about, okay, we in this together. I got your back. You got my back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're going we gonna to be together and it's going to be me and you. Some of y'all thought y'all was going to Bonnie and Clyde this shit. You know what I'm saying? I say Bonnie and Clyde because that's like a pair. Everybody has heard of Bonnie and Clyde. So, or y'all might have been Beyonce and Jay-Z. Y'all going to be a power couple. Y'all going to go out here. Y'all going to do big things. This is what some of y'all was thinking was y'all would sit down and could talk to this person. Hey, we, we in this together. I'm happy. You're happy. We're talking. We got, oh man, you know, I hate when people do this. I hate when people do this. I called a friend of mine. We're no longer friends, but I called a friend out because they were a future faker. They would build people up and then pull the rug from up under their feet. I fell for this shit myself. And then they did this to me. So I get it. This is when somebody's sitting down and they're communicating and they're building your head up thinking it. Okay. Yeah. 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 We can start a business. Oh man. I oh, mean, this business would be so cool. Oh yeah. And you, you dapping it out. Y'all like, yeah. And you getting hype. Like, yes, this is what we're going to do. And y'all thought that whatever plan, not only was it going to lead to marriage, but it was going to lead to some sort of stability or, or if y'all wasn't talking about marrying this person, you at least thought that y'all was going to build some sort of stability together. Y'all was going to be in partnership together to build something. And then the truth came out. And then the truth came out. And the truth is, this person didn't want to grow with you at all. Three of Pentacles reversed. They future faked you. They stabbed you in the back. Ten of Swords. They saved you in the back. Oh, this is hard. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> this is hard. Ooh Come on, Spirit. I don't even know what to say. Like, I feel like, damn. Pisces, of all the reasons I did today, this is the way y'all want to do? I ain't going to lie, Sagittarius, I was going off on Sagittarius. Sagittarius was hard this morning. Sagittarius, I don't know what. I told my spirit team, I said, I don't even want to post this. They were like, we posting? <laughs> we posting it? I'm like, I don't want to post this. I said, like, I'm going the hell out. Post it anyway. <laughs> it's up. Somebody might be mad, but I will. All right, let's see. Yeah, I feel like I got pepper in my nose. I feel like I need to sneeze. Okay, now it's going away. Okay. Clarify the Princess of Cups, which would be the Page of Cups spirit. Clarify this Page of Cups in reverse. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, y'all. So this is what <laughs> you felt like this person stabbed you in the back. I'm gonna have to clarify another card. Hold on. Well, look to, well, okay. I'll I'll get to it in a second. So you thought that this person and you had communicated that y'all was going to do big things and then come to find out they didn't want to grow with you. You didn't know that and then it ended up feeling like they stabbed you in the back. Now, you thought that they had emotion for you, but come to find out this was really one-sided. You had real emotion. This person had nothing. And I mean, not an ounce of shit of love or care for you at all. It was like the whole thing was a game. Whole thing, like you would just like they voodooed your eyesight and you did not know that this person didn't like you like that. It was like they had faked you. They had deceived you. Now, why did you feel like that? Because it was the, the page of cups in reverse. Now, page of cups in reverse is clarified by the chariot in reverse with the king of wands upright, the lovers reverse injustice upright 
Now, some of y'all thought that you and this person were going to be fair and balanced to one one another. That's the type of relationship you thought. You thought that it was fair and balanced. You thought that you had one that was based on truth. And then you found out, because y'all, I told you, it was like anytime y'all sat down, y'all would communicate like business plans and, oh man, you know, it'd be so cool. What about if we did such and such business? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you talking to each other and you thinking you and this person, because I'm talking about you and your person, Pisces, you thought y'all was going to build something and y'all was going to end up in legacy wealth together. So it's like, in your mind, you thinking, yes, me, I, I'm finally with the right person. We're going to build something big, right? And then you find out that this person really didn't feel like that. And this person actually stabbed you in the back. But you thought, because every time you talk to them, at first, okay, this is before you knew that this person, that this was one-sided. You thought that everything was fair and balanced. That this person was always telling you the truth because you thought that you had a solid friendship. That your relationship was built on friendship first. So you thought everything was fair and balanced. <sighs> No, this person, this was really one-sided. This person did not have any love for you. They didn't want to partner with you. You didn't know that. You didn't know that this person didn't want to partner with you. Um, how did you find out that this person didn't want to partner with you? With the lovers reverse, because the chariot is in reverse next to the king of wands this person ended up going back to something from their past how do i know they went to or something from their past because the chariots in reverse so they had to go back to something and they're in the night of wands energy for the last two weeks i have not liked the knight of wands so if y'all watched any of y'all's other uh signs like cross watch any of the other signs that might be in your placements I have been telling y'all about this Knight of Wands. They're sexy. They're alpha males. They're good. If they were, if, when they're in the upright, they would make great motivational speakers. But when they're in reverse, they're your con artists. They will pull the wool over your eyes. And that's exactly what it looks like happened to you, Pisces. So some of y'all could have been dealing with a fire sign. Or you might have been dealing with a water sign. You know what I'm saying? It's all the signs are out here. Earth is out here. Everything is out here. That's why I'm not doing it. I'm just, I'm, but you know your story and you know if it just sounds like it. Excuse me. So this person ended up going back to something in their past thinking that it was the next best thing. They conned you. They're in the Knight of Wands energy. They went straight. They, it, you thought that this person was giving you clarity and truth when they was talking to you. That y'all was having a balanced relationship. Y'all was making future plans. You was talking about business and stability. And you thought that you had, a, like I said, a solid partnership that might lead to marriage as well as stability. And then this person stabbed you in the back. They just told you they didn't really want to grow with you. Come to find out they're not really your friend. In fact, they don't like you at all. There's not a single cup where they like you. And some of y'all might have, if you are, y'all are so intuitive, Pisces, some of y'all might have read the situation was like, if, especially if you're a reader, you might have been like, damn, ain't no cups here. You don't like me? And they, and they, oh no, that ain't true. That ain't true. You know, I'm just stressed out. They was lying their ass off. That, 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 they don't look at you like that. So come to find out all the emotion that you had was very one-sided. That was coming from you. This person didn't have an ounce of love, respect, or care, or really like you. They was not really your friend. You What you thought was fair and balanced and where this person was talking to you and like they really wanted to be with you, end up being a lie. Lovers reverse. They were in their night of wands energy. They was, listen, they will wine and die you and then go look for the next best thing. So this person sold you a dream. They conned you. A player or conned you. They wanted to go out and be a hoe. So they did. And I've been calling the night of wands a hoe because all week long because that's the behavior that they've had. They are hoes. They wanted to go hold. So they went out and hold. And you did not know that this person was hold because you thought that y'all was cool. But now I see why y'all started off with so much regret. And now I see why you feel so defeated. Because it's like, damn. I thought we was cool. 
No, you're not. <laughs> you're not. This person went back to something in their past. And they're on the night of one. So they thought something was the next best thing and they left you. And told you they didn't want to partner with you. And you didn't necessarily know. But on this particular card, you thought you was the only one. But on this lover's card, I have to cover up. There's another person. The cherub is over his head. He has to choose one. Granted, his face is this way, but he has somebody over here that looks like they were also in the Knight of Wands energy. A sexy queen of wands who was offering all her goodies. So somebody, <laughs> male or female. Now the card, I'm saying goodies because of the card. Men, you know if this is your story. So somebody here was offering somebody some goodies and some temptation. And this person decided... Cherry reversed. They was going to go back. And they did. Okay. Spirit, clarify the will of fortune in reverse. Whoo, child. This is heavy. Y'all reading. Oof. I feel the energy in here. It's like my back feel heavy reading y'all stuff. Mm, it's sad, Pisces. Oh, God. Okay, Will of Fortune reverse is clarified by the devil in reverse, the Six of Pentacles in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles. So come to find out that this was all bad news, what you thought was loving and caring or a, a relationship built on friendship that was going to lead to a lot of stability. Come to find out this was just like all bad. Everything was just shot to shit. It was just shot to shit. And you had to get yourself, you had to release this. Because there was actually never going to be any equal give and take. This person, there was no equal give and take. It was very one-sided. The only person who had emotion was you, Pisces. This person didn't have none. They weren't going to ever give to you with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. That's where, you know, the person with the little beggar and they're giving them out money. This person, there was no equal give and take here. And with the devil here, you had to release yourself from this toxic situation because that you didn't even know it was toxic, right? And it was growing slow between you. So like, let's say you was with this person and you thought, excuse me, you thought things were growing slow because you thought things were growing slow with you and this person because, you know, maybe I was going through something. Money was going, coming in slow, but not only were things coming in slow monetarily, y'all wasn't growing as a couple together very quickly either. And you did not know all of this that it was, like I said, you didn't know. So you had to release yourself from a situation that was um, toxic. And you had to release yourself from something where there was no equal give and take. It was moving slow. Let me get five more cards for Pisces. That's four, five. Okay. Y'all have the Prince of Cups, which was the Knight of Cups upright. The Queen of Cups Reverse the Ace of Swords, reverse the Prince of Wands, upright the Prince of Pentacles, upright, which is the Princes are the so you got the Knight of Wands, upright, and the Knight of Pentacles, upright. What you thought this person was coming towards you with offering you a cup of love, that's what you thought. Pisces, but come to find out this person really was the queen of cups reverse. They had no love for you. Like none. They're in their knight of wands energy. This is somebody who had unbridled sexual passion. They move without forethought. They have a lot of sexual partners. And you didn't realize that this person had been lying to you this whole time. They lied to you about the connection. Come to find out that it's one-sided. Ace of Swords is in reverse. They lied to you. They didn't even like you. And it was like, damn. And this person's in the night energy. They went back to someone from their past that you didn't even know was even an option. They're not partnering with you, but they went back to this other person who has a lot of sexual uh, problems too because she's a queen a wand. She's butt ass naked out here. So you talking about somebody who also has a lot of unbridled sexual passion. They went back to somebody from their past where they had a lot of unbridled sexual passion. And both of these people probably had multiple partners. 
So now you wondering like, good God, some of y'all might need to go to the doctor, Pisces. Just saying. So this person you find out that you thought was your knight in shining armor, your person, come to find out they have zero love for you and in a knight of wands energy. They have untamed sexual desire, multiple sexual partners, and they're moving without forethought and they just upped and went back to someone from their past. And everything that you thought y'all had built, come to find out it was built on a lie. And this is why they was coming towards you on that Knight of Pentacles energy. And that's the slowest moving night of them all. That's why y'all couldn't grow. That's why things was moving so slow. It's because you didn't know that this person had a lot of third parties. They could never commit to you because their attention was always elsewhere. You couldn't figure out why things was growing so slow. Why did it seem like you're talking to me like you want to plant with me but why aren't we really getting anywhere because they had unbridled passion they had a lot of sexual partners and they had zero emotion for you so somebody basically was lying to your freaking face Pisces <sighs> the relationship had to end death reversed with a hair fine this killed it everything and, and, and unfortunately Pisces all you do is replay this over and over and over again in your head. With the four swords reversed, you can't help but rethink about what happened on how this ended death, how y'all are not in a committed relationship. And it, le and it left a lot of y'all stressed out, like bad. And this is why y'all had that card of uncertainty in the beginning of y'all spiritual message. And this is why spirit is saying it's time for you to calm your mind within. Because somebody doing you like this, it was like, especially if you thought this person was cool. They laughed at you. They joked with you. It's like literally hanging out with somebody all the time. And then imagine if y'all did this stuff for like a year. Somebody was around you for a whole year. Right? Let's just, I'm just making it up. A whole year. And then you find out that this person, everything y'all did together was all a lie. And you're going to be looking very uncertain because and you, it's going to be hard to ground yourself because you're going to be looking like, what? I thought we was cool. I thought we was friends. Even if it never got to actual marriage, you thought you still was friends, right? You thought that this person was telling you the truth when they said they want to build with you. So now you looking back and you got all this feeling with this leaving you feeling ungrounded because you wonder how did somebody lie to me for a whole year? How did somebody pretend for a whole year like they liked you, wanted to build with you just to find out that they don't even like you, want to be friends with you. They have zero care for you at all. They played you like a dummy for a whole year and been fucking around behind your back for a whole fucking year. This is why you feel so much uncertainty. And this is why the spirit is like, if you can't calm yourself, Pisces, maybe you need to come back in four hours. Uh, you still can't do it. Come back in four days. Eventually you'll get there. Because you can't hear spirit to know what to do until you get your energy calm. This was hard. Of all the readings I did today, y'all's is like the worst. As far as how it feels, like it feels, it feels very like, honest God, like I feel really bad. Like I want to cry for y'all. This is sad. So now you stressed out because, and all you want to do is move towards calmer waters. That's all you feel like right now, Pisces, all, your whole thing is, okay, this is over. You are replaying like, how did this happen? You just need, and you just keep replaying in your head. Like you feel like you're, you know, you stressed out. And all you want to do is move towards common waters with the six of swords and reverse um, and come out the cold. Because this person didn't want to build all this stuff with you. They left you out in the cold. So your thing is, how can I get calm? What can I do? Spirit, can I get five, five more cards, please? So <clears throat> all the readings have been a little bit longer, Pisces. So bear with me.
Okay, so now you got the Ace of Wands in reverse, the Six of Wands upright, the World reverse, the High Priestess upright, the Queen of Swords upright. Now you know it's time to head in a new direction, okay? This person didn't give you the recognition you deserve. You understand that? You don't want to go back to it. So, but I need to clarify, why is the world, Spirit, real quick, why is the world in reverse? Why is the world in reverse? Yeah. So <clears throat> now I see why it's in reverse. So Pisces, it's like you now realize it. Okay, I got to head in a new direction. This is never going to give, this is never going to be what I thought it was. This person is never going to see me the way that I thought that they was going to see me or the way that I thought that this was. You have now zero confidence that this was ever a thing. So you're seeing like this person was selfish. You're also seeing that this person sabotaged this whole thing and it left you very, um, it hit your confidence when it comes to like, you know, people acting like they like you and then putting you up on a pedestal and giving you attention. It, it did something. The way that they did it, it changed how you look at people giving you attention. Cause like the six of wands is upright. This is when people are celebrating you and they're talking to you. And now it's kind of got you looking like, what the hell? Cause some of y'all, this person lied to you. They built you up. They made you think that you was going to have legacy wealth. Y'all did shit that was good together. Y'all laughed together. Y'all broke bread together. Normally the three of cups, they drinking, they happy, they laughing, they playing. That's like you going to the club or whatever y'all doing. Y'all was doing it together and you thought it was happy. Until you realize it's really the sun reverse. This person lied to you. They went back to somebody from their past. They had you in third parties. They had untamed sexual desires. And it's like, damn. So when people give me attention, now you're questioning all of this. Because this person sabotaged it. That you see that they were selfish. And now your confidence, when people give you attention, like, are you, are you trying to trick me? Like, what is this? Is this a game? Like, you don't know what to think because this may have never happened to you like this. So now it makes you feel like with the world reverse, like I can never go back to looking at stuff the same because how did somebody make me give me all this attention and then do something like this? Especially if they had, especially because it felt to you like they had kept a secret. It was like they were hiding their emotion, the fact that they didn't have any emotion from you for so long, like, how did they keep this a secret with the high priestess? Clarify the high priestess spirit, please. Clarify that high priestess spirit. Yeah, it was like, damn, you looking at how long it took for the moon reverse, for it to be revealed that this person, that things were not working with you and this person. This, cha this changed, y'all. Ace of Cups reverse. That, like, okay, it had to be revealed at some point that this was not working and that this person didn't like you. But what is rocking your foundation was how did they keep this a secret? That they was doing all this shit behind your back. That they was future faking you. And you're like questioning your sense of reality because it's like, how the hell did somebody lie to me for this long? How did somebody lie to me? How did I not even know that you did not even like me as a friend? You was breaking bread with me. We was laughing. We was making plans together. How the hell did I miss that you didn't even... And if y'all was dating this person, they was making love to you. <laughs> they was laying in the bed with you. Some of y'all was probably like letting them... You know, when y'all in a relationship, you let some people use your stuff. And you like... You in my space. You sat with me. You broke bread with me. I was in the car with you. We turned up. We laughed. We smoked. We we drank. We did we did everything together. How the hell did I miss that you wasn't even my damn friend? You wasn't even my friend. You don't like me not even a little bit. And you was fucking around my back. Your whole sense of reality is just fucked up. Because it's like, how the hell did I miss? Like, what the? F how did I miss this? How the hell did I miss this? Your sense, of, your sense of reality is fucked because this person was able to keep a secret about how they really felt hidden. And you didn't know. You didn't know. You did not know. 
clarify the Queen of Swords. So now you in that Queen of Swords energy. Where now it's like now you got to take emotion out of it. And now you got to get into logic. Like, hold on. Let me look at this from a logic point of perspective. Let me take all my feelings out. This is why Spirit said you got to go get grounded. Because now you got to get logical. And they need to help you with this. How the hell did I miss this? How the hell did somebody pull wool over my eyes for this? How long this person did it? Now, I said a year, but it could have been, I ain't no telling how long. Y'all could have been in a relationship for two years, three years, five years, ten years, however long, six months, three months. How do you go from thinking somebody really had your back, that y'all had a friend, y'all's relationship was built on a foundation of friendship. You did stuff together. Y'all talked about doing businesses together. You thinking y'all body and Clyde, y'all together. Y'all going to be the next power couple to, nah, nigga, I don't like you not even a little bit. I ain't, shit, I don't even look at you like a friend. Fuck out of here. You looking like, what? Messed you up. Messed you up, Pisces. <laughs> Clarify the queen of swords. So now you got to look at stuff from, like I said, a logical point of view. You got to figure this thing out. You got to get the sword of truth and try to cut through this shit because it's like, how the hell did I miss this? You're not really my friend, but you did everything with me. This fucked y'all up. I ain't lying. Three of swords. Some of y'all was devastated. Heartbroken. Heart just broken to pieces. And now you realize you really have to release this. Four of Pentacles is in reverse. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta figure this out, and I gotta, I gotta let go. I gotta let go of this. This is, this is crazy. This is fucking crazy. Like, excuse my language, but like, that's how I feel. Like, y'all looking like, how the hell did I miss this? This is fucking crazy. You lied to me for a whole year? Like, Nick, you didn't even my friend. You don't even like me a little bit? What the hell is going on? But y'all didn't, listen, despite all that, you put on your logical hat. You got out of your emotions. You got up, you got up from this situation. You didn't sit stagnant in the four of cups sad. Y'all got up off y'all asses and started moving towards something else. You just was like, okay, enough of this. Let me get up and just try, like, get up and do something. Five of Wands. It's like now you got to heal from the chaos and the conflict. You, that was the only option you gave yourself. I have got to heal from the chaos and conflict of this. Okay. Yeah. I poured out love and kindness to someone. And... I was attached to someone that I was pouring out all this love and kindness to. Give me, uh, but I have one option. And the one option that I have is that, you know, I need to heal from this chaos and conflict. Y'all want to know what y'all decided to attach yourselves to? Okay. I gave love and kindness. They didn't want it. This person from my past, I poured out love and kindness with the six of cups. They didn't really see us as attached. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. They don't they don't want to attach to me, but I gotta heal me. Five of Wands reverse. I'm gonna come out of the chaos and the conflict. I ain't got but one option, and that option is to go towards my nine of cups. What is really gonna make me personally happy? What can I do to find my personal wish fulfillment? What did Pisces do, Spirit? Clarify this nine of cups. What did they do to find a personal wish fulfillment? The hermit, you got by yourself. Eight of Swords. And it might have seemed like you was putting yourself in a self-inflicted prison when you got by yourself, right? To go towards your personal wish fulfillment. You had to get selfish. Yeah, you closed yourself off. It was almost like you put yourself in a tower. And you got focused. And you went towards a whole new start. Okay, this happened to me? Cool. All right. This person lied to me about building with me. I know what I'll do. I'll do this shit by myself. A nine of cups is when somebody goes and find a personal wish fulfillment. I'll do this by myself. I, I know what to do. Fuck everybody. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm not lying. You let all your stuff dry up. You released anything that was not growing. Empress reverse. You anything that was not like a burden, but that was dry. You released it. You went towards a whole new start. Yep, that was that was the plan. It was like you gained enlightenment. Okay, cool. You don't want to be me? Cool. All right. Let me. I got enlightenment. I know what to do. I'm gonna release all these burdens. I'm gonna go after my personal wish fulfillment. You got with yourself. You got into that queen of swords. You started taking emotion out of it and feeling like, okay, well, what can I do to find my personal fulfillment? Oh, I know what I could do. I'm going to cut off anything that wasn't birthing me, anything wise, anything that was a burden off my back. I'm going to step into my power as the emperor. I'm going to look at this thing strategic and I'm going to go get my 10 of cups and I'm going to go get my 10 of pentacles. And I know you're going to get it if you're in the emperor energy. You, cause the emperor grow money, honey. You took out emotion and you went for the bag. You stepped into your power. I ain't mad at you, Pisces. I ain't mad at you. Oh yeah. I, I know what to do to reverse this tower. I'm not going to juggle emotionally or physically. I mean, emotionally or monetarily anymore. I will have a new start. You created your own new start and you went ape shit <laughs> with, with, about it. You got into that logical mind hard. Yup. You started. Yeah. It was like anybody who was manipulative, past loves that were manipulative, you left them behind. Seven of Swords reverse. Anybody who tries to come back to you after manipulating you with the magician, this is somebody who really pulled the wool over your eyes and that offered you love. You decided, I'm going to just leave all this stuff behind. It took a minute to get your strength together because this was something you did not plan on was, you know, but you healed. Yeah. You thought you, you, your plan was, you had one plan that plan didn't get off the ground. You didn't get off the ground and you weren't going to get the new financial start that you thought it was. So you took emotion out of a hope this person that offered you that cup king of cups reverse it was hopeless but this is now why spirit is saying okay cool so you went for the bag i'm not mad at you pisces but this is why spirit is saying some of y'all must have got to the bag and this is why spirit is saying it's okay now pisces it's okay breathe you have the situation but some of y'all are still on high alert like this is like this could still happen to you but you have left this person behind and you went and found your nine of cups, but you still on high alert because it was like, damn, how did I miss this? <clears throat> how did somebody pretend to be my friend for however long y'all was in a relationship for? I know one thing, if y'all was in a relationship with somebody six months or longer or a couple of years, a year or longer, and they did this shit to you, it probably rocked your foundation because it was like, what the hell? How the F did I miss this? But just know that when spirit gives you those signs and synchronicities, those are little keys to let you know that you're not by yourself, Pisces. They, spirit always knows what's going on with every child on this planet. They understand and they saw what you was going through and they was trying to let you know you're not alone. That's why you was probably getting synchronicities. So that you would know you're not alone. Okay, Spirit, how does this person, um, how does Pisces feel about their person? How does Pisces feel about their person? Five cards, please. Okay. feel like you missed a lot of the signs because well one of the signs was maybe this person kept you secret they hid y'all's love maybe they didn't take you like you know how sometimes when you look back that's when you start to see stuff okay maybe this person never took you around any of their other family they tried to keep everything with y'all real private they never let you meet anybody 
and maybe you should have been alert to that. That's what you're saying here. I should have noticed these subtle notes a while ago. See, the thing is, when you get into that king of swords, queen of swords, you look at stuff from an impartial view. You don't just look at stuff from your view. You start trying to take out your emotion and start looking at stuff from a logical view. How did I get here? How did I miss this? Oh yeah, this person never took me around anybody. They kept our stuff. They kept acting like they want to keep our stuff private, but come to find out they was really just doing that because they were hiding the fact that they had third parties. And now you are starting to see the little clues that you missed. Like also this person, they have a way of trying to captivate you in a way that, that you just really, maybe they smelt good. Maybe, maybe they came across with a certain air about them that you thought was very tempting you realize that that person when they was around you when it was all said and done it was like it was only in the moment that they was like that but you never really you had to kind of step back to see things that everything they did was always in the moment it was never like it was just i can't lord what is the word if it's in the moment how does this person feel uh, i mean how does pisces person feel about pisces like they never did stuff future wise. They only made plans with you in the moment. They never made future plans with you. They talked to you about the future, but everything y'all did was in the in the moment. They never be like, hey, you know what? This coming weekend, we're gonna do such and such and such and such. You might have missed that. That they only made plans with you for right then, right now. You didn't realize that they never made long term plans for the weekend or what y'all was gonna do. None of that. It probably went over your head because. You were captivated. This person was also a temptress. So how does this person feel about you, Pisces? They want to come in and they want you to make something better for them. They enjoy that you gave them some sort of special treatment. Sorry, y'all. Uh, you gave them some sort of special treatment. Um... They could tell you really want to live a happy life, but <clears throat> you like you look like you like you want to live a happy life and you need special treatment. So, and you're gifted and stuff, but you always had a way of making them feel better. And now, um, yeah, it was easy to keep you unfocused on the bigger picture. Intuitions in reverse. Yeah, they had a way of helping you to like ignore your intuition. They were a charmer. Oh, child, y'all's reading is heavy. What's this person's true intention? What was their true intention? For doing this to Pisces spirit. What was this person's true intentions on doing all that they did to Pisces? Why did they do this to Pisces? What was their true intention? We only got one more deck and it's money. It's only three cards, y'all. Everybody's reading has been this long, by the way. Except for maybe Scorpio and Aquarius is, was it this long. The, the re, you want to know this person's true intention for doing this to you? Greed. I'm pursuing wealth and power with no regard for ethical or moral boundaries. This person's not ethical. They don't have any morals and they have no boundaries. They're greedy. They did it for greed. They wanted you to help them or do something. And they feel like <clears throat> they haven't gotten over the past or whatever happened with y'all. But they did it out of greed. Also, they envy you. They seek to undermine your successes as a means of elevating their own standing. They wanted to step on your back, Pisces, to elevate themselves. This is why they did it. They were greedy and they en they're envious. What was their reasons for doing this to the Pisces spirit? What, are their, what was this person's true intentions for doing this to Pisces? They did feel like at some point you were like their tribe.
welcome was in reverse. Even though it says upright, it says, I want to, I want, I want you to know your presence was appreciated and it can be a safe space for you. That was in reverse. This was not a safe space for you when you were in this person's presence. They was really able to manipulate you. They see that you're focusing on your career and advancing. No matter what it takes. They see that. What is this person's intentions for Pisces? They felt like they felt like you were an obligation. You were really a nuisance. So they felt obligated to associate with you because maybe you were helping them in some kind of way. But they really was annoyed by your presence. You were a nuisance. So they felt obligated to pretend to be your friend because you was doing something for them. Trick. They had intentions on deceiving you. That was the whole plan. They also looked at you as entertainment for their own amusement. They were unfriendly. They have a hostile attitude. I damn near want to cry. This is like so sad. Their job was to keep a secret. There was something that huge that they was hiding from you was that they didn't care for you, Pisces. Apology is in reverse. They're not going to apologize for this. You might want to go to the doctor with health out here. They're not honest. They don't know how to be truthful or transparent. If they were to be honest with you, they, they feel like they need a safe, secure place to open up. I wouldn't trust it. This person does want a small favor. They want to ask you to help them. They want to ask you for something. They feel like they know what's best. They have a lot of unsolicited advice. They like to brag. They want to date you. But it's probably just to bring you more chaos because chaos follows them wherever they go and they really want to yell at you. Despite everything, they would like to reconnect with you, Pisces. They say they miss you being in their life. It's just, I, I, would, I would not go near somebody who is greedy, envious, Chaos, the whole mean was to just trick you. They felt obligated to deceive you because you was doing something for them. All right, let's get your money card so we can close out. This is sad. It gets better, Pisces. You're safe now. You're in a much better place. You're not with this person. You're safe, but you're still acting like you're on high alert. Because I ain't going to lie, this is crazy. Can I get three cards, um, Spirit, for Pisces money? Three cards for Pisces money. Pisces, things financially are getting ready to change. It's getting ready to change for the better. It's going to be like night and day for you, baby. Whatever's going on with your money, just because you might not see anything big right now, it doesn't mean nothing's happening. You knew you had to be the change you wanted to see, and we've seen that in the tarot. But you got a lot going on. Spirit wants you to know that they want you to spend more time out in nature, okay? So you can heal, be soothed, and regroup. Okay, the universe 
is working with you. So you need to look for those subtle signs. And that's why they said keep looking for synchronicities because you're not alone, Pisces. You're very intuitive. So you should be able to pick up on a universe sending you signs. That's the spirit letting you know you're not by yourself, baby. They see everything you've been through and they are, they are close. They are always with you. They are so close to you right now. Now, Pisces, spirit wants you to say yes to the things you think you can't do. Baby, you can do anything you put your mind to. Say yes and push forward. Be the change. And your life will change like night and day. All right, Pisces, that's it. That's all I got for you. Y'all's reading was sad, but you're in a safe place now. Breathe. It's okay for you to relax and breathe. You're safe. You ain't around this person taking advantage of you anymore. And you can relax a little bit. Some of y'all still feel um, a little hypervigilant after going through something like that. <sighs> I'm sorry, man. Y'all's reading is heavy. It's heavy as hell in here. I'm going to go clean off. <laughs> oh, God. All right, Pisces. I really, really enjoyed your reading. It was interesting. Sad, but very interesting. But you're in a much better place now. So congratulations on your endeavors. And congratulations on getting away from this deceiver. Honey, who that tricked you. All right, Pisces. That's all I got for you. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe. If you hit the notification bell, you'll know when I upload. I upload every day, even if it's late. I'm going to make sure I get your reading out on time that day. So I apologize for it being at, I don't even know what time it is. By the time it gets up, it'll probably be around 11 or something. But anyway, thank you Pisces for being here. Um, and until next time, bye baby.